My name is Rich Risto, and I am a stranger in a strange land, and on this very dismal, dreary, um, drizzly um, day, I am outside People's Hospital number one in downtown Changzhou, Jiangsu Province, and, you know, with this building here, and I don't know, maybe I can get another angle that way, you're not seeing much of the hospital, it's behind the trees. Um, purposely not getting good shots of this because frankly if you are a Western vlogger or blogger you don't want to be running around China openly waving a camera around when there's security people better to be safe than to be cautious so I'm in the area next to people's hospital number one which by the way um, was set up by an American missionary like a hundred years ago but that's another story for another time and so neighborhood here is rather old crumbly soviet style buildings and when i say that china was never soviet it's just the architecture is similar to soviet era, era russia and are of the same age now today i want to talk about something that back in jersey philadelphia New York City or just urban America in general we take for granted but you don't see this all that much in China and by that I don't mean that restaurant and by that I mean graffiti public vandalism as it turns out as art now Back in Asbury Park, which is where I pretty much lived, Asbury Park, New Jersey, um, where I lived before moving to China seven years ago, more than seven years ago. Um, this was everywhere at the beach. And you know, you go to New York City and you see these colorful bits of artwork um, everywhere, you know. And as I said, it's so insidious that it works its way into the fabric of daily life. Almost to the point, like back in Jersey, where you hardly even notice it anymore. Just sort of, almost as like visual background noise. Um, whereas here, it's not so much. I mean, so, as I said, this, um, this wall, this graffiti wall here, is on, on a barrier wall um, surrounding People's Hospital Number One, Chandra's People's Hospital Number One, um, and it's only this one section of wall that has this graffiti. Um, it's one of two sites in Chandra that I know of that has um, this sort of public art, and um, that's it. You don't really see. Um, you don't really see paintings of beautiful women with cleavage, um, you know, on the side, side of buildings. Or, you know, knock off Street Fighter um, artwork either, you know. Um, that is foot something, but in the Street Fighter font obviously and god it's been forever since I played video games I forget the character gamers can yell at me so some of the stuff is cool other it just seems random so you know here we have a Chinese dude with a sword notice I said Chinese dude with a sword not a samurai that is Japan and so I always wondered when this would get painted over. I mean, this has been here for years. Um, and, you know, if, if it's, you know, foreign profanity, people aren't going to notice as much. But then again, foreign profanity, sometimes when worn on clothing, is rather fashionable. And so... As always, like, I mean, my New Jersey sensibilities come back to an extent because how long is this stuff going to be here? 
or is some other graffiti artist going to paint over somebody else's stuff? So that's about it. This is one of the one of two places in Changzhou where there is a lot where there is some graffiti. Now you can think this is either interesting or you can think it is that right there. But thank you for watching. Um, until next time, if you like to wander around like I do, safe travels.